What'd I tell you, Mike? What'd I tell you? I said this would happen. I promise you this would happen. You see, it's not hard to predict the future. You just gotta create it, and that's what I did. I promised you you were going down, and you went down. I put you down hard. I stomped your head into that friggin' chair. I took you apart. You thought you could be some kind of a, a cool guy. Oh, you get all the kids to come jump me with their stupid crap. What happened? You got hurt. You tried to clap and get them all cheering for you. What happened? You got hurt. You said you were going to be the heavyweight champion, make everybody proud. What happened, Mike? You got hurt. Well, Mike, you had your entire roster. I was ready to put you out for good. And it wasn't your heart, it wasn't your determination, it wasn't your skill set that saved your life. You had a locker room full of friends. I don't need a locker room full of friends. I got an industry full of respect. I've got a world full of fans watching the wrestling, paying to see me. Paying to see me in Japan. Paying to see me in Russia. Paying to see me in South Africa. Paying to see me in Nigeria. Paying to see me in Poland. Paying to see me in the States. Paying to see me in Canada. Paying to see me everywhere. You got a handful of friends to get in the way, to shield and protect you, but guess what? You get in my way again, they're not gonna protect you. I'll get a car, I'll run you over with a bus. The fact is, you lost. You lost hard, you lost bad, and you lost legit. I don't have to tolerate you any further. And I don't think your wife and son have to tolerate their, their father and husband coming in the door on a stretcher. Blood strewing down his face, an absolute mess. You don't have to do that to your family, you don't have to do that to yourself. Accept defeat and walk away, Mike. Because you get in the way next time, I'm gonna ruin you. And you can tell all your little friends that one by one by one by one, I'll take them apart too. They better stay out of my way. I am the legend, heroes come and go. Legends live forever. <laughs>
this week. And uh, we welcome back to the showdown uh, Grado, the man in the black singles currently patting down your referee, Callum Lyons. Just making sure. Oh! <laughs> Getting a bit of close and personal there. And uh, yeah, let's see no more about that. So, um, Grado hasn't been here since uh, August of 2015, so he last appeared in showdown, facing the very good Mr. Ewan G. Mackey. Oh, hang on. Well, the word of words is uh, turning a slap across the face and fair play to Lucian Maynard Smith for getting right up in Grado's face there, not being intimidated by the reputation this man brings. As he swings a clothesline in Grado with those punches. Of course, you don't really need to tell you about Grado, he's everywhere, one of the most popular stars in all the UK, he's been wrestling over in the United States. He did recently uh, lose a, a feast or fired match um, in TNA, so he's technically unemployed by the company right now. So I'm not sure if that's led to him returning to WCL. Certainly, it's very hard to find a space in his diet for him to come here. Uh, as Lucy Miner Smith was getting his body slammed through the ceiling. And uh, perhaps if uh, TNA have ended up losing uh, Grado's contract and he's no longer part of them, as Hang goes out for a cover. Um, perhaps we'll be seeing more of him here in WCL, uh, who should he will know. Um, but Lucy Maynard Smith is certainly not going to sit back and just allow Grado to come in and steamroller over him. Smith has been on a, a roll as he runs right in the turnbuckles, it doesn't look like it just now, but he has been. Um, of course, just uh, earlier this month he defeated the Firebird in a, a very impressive contest. As Grado catches him in the midsection, so far this has been all Grado though. And Smith avoiding the shot that never really came. Oh, and stamps right in the foot. And Smith ducks the bionic elbow and rakes the eyes. Perhaps the only course left open to him. No matter how much you train your muscles, no matter how much you work out in the gym, you can't do anything to make your eyeballs stronger. So, of course, if you've got a thumb in the eye, it hurts, no matter whether you're something like 8 stone weakling or something like 20 stone muscle bound T man. And Smith straight for the cover, but Grado's got a shoulder off the canvas. And a lot of folk just think he's he's all fun and jollity, but he isn't. I mean, he's been around since 2003, so I mean, he's picked something up. He can wrestle pretty well, and the amount of uh, companies he's competed for, the amount of people he's been in against, you'd have to have something serious wrong with you to not be able to pick up some skills. I think he just often likes to enjoy himself and hides his ability behind his, his demeanour. But Smith, not a fan of that at all, just going straight in the attack. And these two men have diametrically opposed styles, I think is a fair way to put it. Remember Smith's match with the Firebird, Firebird doing a kind of British version of Lucha Libre, whereas Smith does a more, shall we say, contemporary version of traditional British style. Uh, Grado uses a sort of mash of everything, really. Um, so it's interesting to see how his style will mesh or not with that of the notorious Nolan. But Smith has got him in that chin lock and is desperately holding him there, trying to wear him down. 
cut off his momentum. If there's one area that Grado may be questionable, it's stamina. But we shall uh, see how that goes as the match progresses. He certainly got the crowd on his side. Couple elbows to the midsection. And he breaks out. And Smith hit him with the back elbow. And you see Grado did everything he could to stay on his feet there. And with back to the eyes. He's arguing the referee there. It's a big test for Lucian Maynard Smith. As, hang on, he hoists up Grado and slams him down. And you see he goes straight for the cover again. Every opportunity, Lucian Maynard Smith has attempted to get a pin. This would do his career wonders if he were to defeat Grado here. I mean, everyone knows Grado, but Smith is not as well known. That's not me being disrespectful to him, it's just uh, a statement of fact. He's never quite broke out in the way that Grado has. In fact, I don't think anybody has broken out the way Grado has. And so he's climbing the, the ropes. This may be the smartest strategy. It's an extremely low ceiling here. And oh, Smith took a bit too long and gets body slammed right off the top turnbuckle. And it's giving Grado a bit of an opening. And he's down for the count as well. I think the slam really took it out of him. Although perhaps all those 17 Mother's Pride loaves that he apparently had uh, before the match may have <laughs> affected him even more. Both men slow to get to their feet. And to the best of my knowledge, they used to have never wrestled each other before. So this is going to be one of these situations where they're both kind of trying to find what each other can do as they go along. I'm sure they've done some studying, certainly. Gredo's quite easy to study, he's everywhere. And Smith nails him there, just firing off some forearms. Gredo ducks under that clothesline and catches him. Down goes Lucian Maynard Smith. But he kicks out. Good to have to have a couple of more moves once to try and put away the notorious nobleman. Believe it or not, this is only his fourth match in WCL. And only his uh, third time here on Showdown. This shows you how much in demand he is. WCL would love to have him around more often than other WCL fans definitely would. Perhaps we'll see that in the, the near future. And firing off those shots. And hits the elbow and Smith just only drops to a knee. And Smith appears to be mesmerised by this. Falling Grado's hands around. And he walks, or doesn't as a case, he be right in that bionic elbow. And Smith got in the corner, I think wrong what this is going to be. Says that the rolling slice. And he lands it. And that's a fairly large man. He'd be crashing down upon you. This could be here. Smith gets out though. After having all the air knocked out of his lungs. And Smith slow to get back up. But Grudel's back up on his feet. And he does like to use that wee boot. This could be just what he's going for here. And oh, Smith had it. Catches the foot and nails him with that forearm. And down goes Grado. Smith goes in for the cover he could get here. This could be all. Oh, it wasn't. Just a two at the very, very last second. I thought Smith had not Grado out with that forearm. You see the fact that Smith doesn't have the largest arms in the world, but he does have phenomenal tendon strength. So of course when he hit Grado with that forearm, it's probably like being smacked in the face with a shovel. And because Grado went down and just got his shoulder up at this last split second. Great officiating from your referee Callum Lyons. Smith has things going on. So went for the Greek for the House of Smith. Grado ducks. Oh Smith goes over. Grado folds him up and he's got him covered. And it's enough to pin Smith's shoulders down the canvas.
So Grado scores the victory over Lucian Maynard Smith here on the showdown. And remember, folks, I've got a second match coming up for you in just a few moments. So a popular victory there for Grado in his return to Wrestling Showdown. And if you want to see more of Grado, if you'd like to see him in the flesh, then you can. Why not join us on Thursday, March 31st at the Carnegie Leisure Centre in the Berlin for our Championship Showdown event. Grado will be in attendance. And that's in addition to what we mentioned last week. The golden ticket holder, Blondie Barrett, is going to be there. We know that Casey Owens will defend the Women's Championship against Leah Owens in that title versus face match. Don't worry, we'll explain about that in the weeks to come. Plus, our heavyweight champion is going to be there. Yay. Then the following day, that's a Friday, April 1st, we're going to be in Sterling for our wrestling showdown taping. Blondie Barrett will be there. Grady will be there. Our heavyweight champion, he's going to be there too. And he will also be in attendance on Saturday, which is April 2nd. We're going to be in the Howden Park Centre in Livingston with our pals over at SSW for our annual combined event. And then on Sunday, it's more wrestling show than action in St Andrews. Of course, this Sunday, April the 3rd. Make sure you come to any or all of those events and you can get your tickets for them from W3LWrestling.com. And of course, you show down as a coupon code for 20 percent off the second match we're going to see this week here on wrestling showdown features a man who is no stranger to our heavyweight champion thanks to him everybody's least favorite canadian uh, nathan reynolds was put out of action for a good few weeks now he returned at remedy and he is gunning for a shot at the heavy tail and the guy who holds it but to do that he has to get through tenacious Johnny Lyons. Now, this is Lyons' first ever appearance on Wrestling Showdown, and you know that he intends to knock the biggest target he can find, that being Nathan Reynolds, off his perch and make a statement here in W3L. So when these two bulls will collide, who's going to win? Can Nathan Reynolds overcome the tenacious one? Or can Lyons take a bite, no pun intended, out of Nathan Reynolds? There's only one way for us to find out. Let's head down to ringside for this week's match. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is a singles match set for one fall. Introducing for standing to my right from Exxon in England and weighing at 230 pounds. This is Tenacious Johnny Lyon. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe Ford is with you again for the second of our matches here this week on Wrestling Children. It's a welcome return to Nathan Reynolds. Because we saw him last week at the end of that Mike Musso versus Julia Legend. No disqualification match. But here he is back in action. And only a second match since he fell foul off the W3 Heavyweight Champion Legend. And here on the showdown, of course, uh, Reynolds returned at Remedy at the start of February. This is his first time back on Wrestling Showdown. And he's taken on a man who also returned at Remedy. Um, and this is his Wrestling Showdown debut. And that's the man in the black shorts, tenacious Johnny Lyons. Should be a good physical contest to big, solid men. Uh, Lyons has been part of WCL in the past. Of course, he started off as part of a tag team, uh, the Tenacious Guns. And uh, they held the tag team title on one occasion, but he left, um, and he's been back a couple of times since. But of course, he returned at Remedy back at the start of February. And he's uh, seems to have redoubled his efforts. Seems to be ready to make a, a focused attack on W3L and on the heavyweight title. Although, when you consider who's holding on to that championship, maybe you don't really want a title shot after all. And the crowd firmly on the side of Nathan Reynolds, the longest reigning heavy champion in W3 history. This whole building vibrating with the sound of the fans cheering on Nathan Reynolds, but he's not going to find Lions a pushover. 
just backs up in the corner. Uh, these two men have never actually met before, at least certainly not in W3L anyway. So it's going to be an interesting contest to see uh, what happens here. It's not many people that are physically as big or as powerful as Nathan Reynolds, but Lyons definitely is. As you heard in the introduction, he's got 230 pounds and he's uh, certainly been working on his, uh, his muscles and his physique over the, the past couple of years. He's all bigger than he used to be. He's a powerful guy. And Agile too. He, he wrestles regularly um, up and down Scotland uh, for other organisations outside of the World League Wrestling League. Um, he's uh, faced the likes of uh, British wrestling star Doug Williams. He faced Hardcore Holly, X Pac, loads more besides um, in other organisations outside W3L. And he's used that experience to come back with a strong show that remedy against Liam Thompson. And uh, he wants to continue that by facing Nathan Reynolds here this week on the showdown. And Lions, that side headlock. And if he were able to uh, defeat Reynolds in Reynolds' first match back on showdown, think of how good that would be for Lions' career. Because let's try to knock him down first. And Reynolds, he's not budging. He's come back with a real focus. He's got a kind of steely glint in his eyes. I mean, normally he's fairly fun-loving. You know, he's fairly relaxed. But after what Joe Legend did to him, after him coming out and then making a save for Emuso last week as he hits the Rock King Lions, there's a new determination in Reynolds. And he's going to cut his way through the roster uh, if needs be to get his hands on Joe Legend one more time. And Lions just get slammed down. Reynolds can be set up that spear. Going to take this one home early. And Lyons gets out of the way. And after all, they've never fought before in W3L. They obviously do know each other. I'm sure they've trained at the Action Academy together. Lyons will have studied Reynolds. Reynolds has studied Lyons. So it's not exactly going to be a, a sort of new thing for them. And look at this. Reynolds. And he, he hits Lyons with that inflatable hammer. Now, here's an interesting note uh, you may be interested in. But inflatable hammers are officially exempt from foreign object status in the WCL handbook. So that's why there was no disqualification called uh, if he's not inflatable hammer. So there you go. And they're available at the merchandise table at our live events. The Lions runs Nathan Reynolds at the post. Render his jacket as well. Lions saying if you get it with an inflatable hammer I'll hit you with the ring post. Unfortunately the Lions will get the better of that one as the post is much more solid than the hammer. Look at this, the ease in which he just throws down Nathan Reynolds and you see the Reynolds back arches as Lions goes in for the cover. Because both men want that heavy title that's no doubt why Lions has returned to WCL. Reynolds wants Joe Legend in the worst way but if he can get the uh, heavy title at the same time, even better. You can hear the crowd chanting, Lion sucks, they do not like this guy. I think there's arrogance that's just out of him. Reynolds hits that close line. And Lions caught with the feet. Oh, and takes him down. Lions goes in for the cover here, one. Two, but Reynolds kicking out of that. He has got a goal in mind. He needs to get through Johnny Lyons to achieve it. Lyons dragging him away for the ropes. And he applies that camel line clutch. You see what I mean? And just wrenching at the neck of Nathan Reynolds, the former heavyweight champion. Well, Reynolds, so make you can he hold on? Lines is, is a powerful guy. Those huge arms of his pulling back at the chin of Nathan Reynolds. And again, this is Nathan Reynolds' second match back since uh, Joe Legend took him out here on Showdown. So we don't know what state is it. I mean, assuming that he's been cleared to wrestle, I think Magic must have checked, but I don't know if I know he's still going to be harboring some. Niggling injuries. Look at this, this 
Camel line clutches do more damage to him than you might expect. And he's got the ropes. Lion's been forced to break it. The crowd's still disliking Johnny Lyons. As he runs from the fight back, but Lyons has this match going his way. Oh, and just disrespects the, the ex champ by slapping her in the face. You don't want to awaken the beast here. And that's what will happen if you do the power slam. And for the cover here. But Johnny Lyons powering out of it. Not called tenacious for nothing. And Reynolds has something in mind. Can we go for that spine bust? No. He's got across the shoulders. Can we go for the one to watch? Line slips out. And the power as it's that back line plex. And dumps down Nathan Reynolds. He's a big lad to be thrown about like that. Covers on one, two. And Reynolds popping a shoulder off the canvas. Like I mentioned before, he's not normally used to being thrown around a lot. Like he often wrestles guys that are a bit smaller than him. But Lions can throw him out with ease. Again, the whole building vibrating as these fans willing Nathan Reynolds on. They want to see him get his revenge on Joe Legs at some point. And that Lion Slam. Lion's going to be setting up for something. He's got a million moves. So it makes him kind of difficult to prepare for because you don't know what he's going to hit you with. There's the top top buckle. And he comes off. Oh, and Nathan Reynolds caught him. And it looked like he was going for a, a flying line can runner, if you like. And Reynolds turned it into a powerbomb. It's not a move that Lions often uses. Maybe right so. And both men slowly get up. But this crowd, you know, willing the man in the grey singlet to get back to his feet. He's seen all he's gone through. Becoming the longest training heavy champion in history. Having it cruelly taken from him, courtesy of Joe Legend. And then the rematch, well, I'm sure you also what happened. He didn't go back and check out that wrestling show the episode from December. He's been trading shots and a German suplex launches Johnny Lyons almost at the ring. And I wonder if somewhere in the back of his mind, as Reynolds, hang on, he picks him up and just drives him down with the slam page. And this could be here, Lions showing his tenacity, pun fully intended, as he kicks out of that. I'm sure it's somewhere in the back of Reynolds' mind, every time he looks at Lions, he's thinking Joe Legend. But he cannot overlook Lions, because if he does, I think he's likely to end up losing. But, we'll see what happens. So he launches Lions across the ropes, picks him up, and there's that spine buster. But you see the lines rolls off his back. Partly stops himself from being pinned most because he's in such pain because of that move there. But not in so much pain he can't kick out. He only just throws some of his best moves at uh, Johnny Lyons. He's been unable to put him away. Lyons the mentioned before, former tag team champion. He won the title one year after he debuted and beat the original Fight Club, which is no easy task if you remember them. And Reynolds went for the spear, but Lyons avoided it. And here he goes. It's going to be the Lion Bite. And right between the shoulder blades. And he really needs to cover Reynolds quickly. He's to follow up. And he crawls over. And will Reynolds be down? No, he's not. And Lions may begin to wonder what we're going to have to do here. Because we have a building that is literally vibrating through all the people cheering for Nathan Reynolds. It's a difficult hurdle to overcome. And Reynolds with the spear. He throws out with such great accuracy. 
has power as well. And Lions is going to be finished. Nathan Williams with a victory here. No, it's not. Lions kicking out of the spear. I'm sorry, more person I think perhaps you were expecting. Referee Thomas Kernsing is only a two. Reynolds a bit unsure of that one, but so the referee has ruled. the crowd here Reynolds has got hold of him to go for that famous carry can go for the one to watch Lions gets out and drops him down that line crusher and he goes straight to the cover one two no once again Nathan Reynolds kicking out and Lions Cannot believe it, you can read it on his body language. That's put away many people. But he couldn't put away Nathan Reynolds. And the line's gonna go for here. He is have a large well of maneuvers. That he can go to. Said in the top turnbuckle here. He's lying around in the PR further on. And he gets out with the spear. Reynolds catches him in mid air with that spear. And he goes in for the cover. And it's enough to put away tenacious Johnny Lyons. So the one to watch defeats tenacious Johnny Lyons in his return to wrestling showdown. What a contest, the Lions gave a massive accounting of himself. So not the last we've heard of Tenacious Johnny Lions, I am sure. And on another night, this match would have gone his way. But Nathan Owens is back and back with a vengeance. And this crowd could not be happier. Johnny Lions, unfortunately, doesn't get the, the win here this week on Wrestling Showdown. But Nathan Reynolds does. And this crowd couldn't be happier. We are all so pleased that the former champion is back. Bring over Nathan Reynolds. Yeah, once again, you're off the winner. And I, oh, I think Reynolds has something he wants to say. I just want to
Something, ladies and gentlemen, there's times to be impartial and times to be completely not impartial, and that was one of those times. Nathan Reynolds wants to get his hands on Joe Legend, wants to put him in his place in the most violent physical way possible. He wants that, I'd quite like that, but it sounds things you fans wanted that as well. And so, guess what? WCO management have decided to make it happen. So I can exclusively reveal to you now that on Thursday, March the 31st, in Dunfermline, as part of our championship showdown event, that Canadian guy, you know what I mean, he's going to have to put the heavyweight title on the line against the longest reigning W3L heavyweight champion in history, Nathan Reynolds, in a stretcher match. Now, if that doesn't send you scurrying for tickets, I don't know what will. Particularly when you combine that with the fact that Casey Owens defends Owens title against Leah Owens in that title versus face match. The, the fact that the grade was going to be there, that Blondie Barrett will be there with his golden ticket and so much more besides. You really don't want to miss Championship Showdown. Get your tickets from WTLWrestling.com and then make sure you're with us in Sterling on Friday, April 1st, in Livingston, on Saturday, April 2nd, and on St Andrews, on the Sunday, which is April the 3rd, because anything can happen in W3L. Chance it probably will. <laughs> now, I know that Joe Legends confirmed himself being in attendance for some of these dates, but I don't think there's going to be anything left from after Thursday. So if you're in a championship showdown, you may not see Joe Legend again. Fingers crossed. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you do because there's some big stuff happening in the coming weeks. You don't want to miss a moment of Wrestling Showdown. Uh, visit our website, you can get your tickets here and all the information you could ever need. We are of course on Facebook as well and we're on Twitter. The addresses are on your screen. You can also uh, engage with us by using the hashtag W3L Wrestling Showdown. Please be part of this. Be at Championship Showdown as Nathan Reynolds finally gets his hands on Joe Legend in that stretcher match. It's a contest you cannot afford to miss. So don't. Make sure you're there. And also make sure you're back here in seven days' time because you will have another edition of Wrestling Showdown and more information about our live events. Don't miss it. I'll see you then.